adalah channel aku Jika kamu mau Lihat sebencar dan lepak bersama channel streetwear paling sampah Hello, Assalamualaikum sahabat Selamat datang kembali pada channel streetwear paling sampah seluruh YouTube Nama aku Hazab Dulan dan ini adalah channel aku Welcome, welcome, welcome Aku rasa aku dah lama sangat tak buat uh, video dalam format macam ni All this while it's just been like outdoor vlogs and all that right Disebabkan aku It's been a little bit hard for me to find time to edit videos nowadays But then I decided, hey, you know what I'm just going to try to get back into the swing of things I'm going to get back to doing the videos macam lama Format lama So yeah, how have all of you been? I hope all of you have been good Today punya video is just uh, I bought a few stuff from At most punya recent release of the Peace Minus One Nike collection I think aku dah beli Almost every single thing in that collection Kecuali satu Aku tak beli baju warna putih Dia ada dua jenis baju Baju warna putih dan baju warna hitam Aku tak beli warna putih So the title of this video dah misleading dah But then you know it's just The difference is just the colour So I did buy the whole collection Technically Technically So yeah disebabkan aku telah beli banyak sangat stuff from the collection I thought hey you know what I'll just I'll just unbox it in front of y'all Make a video out of it And we'll just see how it goes from there So uh, join me Join me in unboxing this Peace Minus One collection And you will get to see my first First impression and first reaction to this whole collection lah Sebab aku pun belum nampak lagi benda ni depan mata aku So this will be fun Let's go I kept the thing a little bit far away Ooh. Oof Alright so first things first Aku telah join the raffle from Atmos That's how I got all of these Tapi benda yang paling kelakar dia Is that every single item Dia macam kau kena raffle individually tau Dia bukan satu set Disebabkan kau kena raffle individually Bila kau menang the raffle individually The items akan ship out individually So disebabkan tu aku raffle untuk 5 item Aku end up with 5 kotak And aku kena bayar shipping 5 kali so each of these items is like an extra 20 ringgit So I had to pay an extra 100 ringgit for shipping So uh, that's just how it goes I guess Still love you Atmos Thank you so much for uh, Thank you so much for the W's I guess So I end up with kotak banyak I end up with like 5 kotak So we'll just see We'll just see what's inside uh, I think this one is the t-shirt It should be the t-shirt Disebabkan dia kecil Oop. Shout out Atmos The video is not sponsored by Atmos KL by the way Aku memang beli semua benda ni guna duit aku Bam what are you? Uh, item number one is T-shirt, I think Oh, aku lupa nak sebut Actually, sizing dia merepek gila tau Sizing collection ni merepek gila Kalau kau tak, kalau kau nak tahu betapa merepeknya The seluar Size XXS Untuk seluar dia Is pinggang 33 Untuk seluar size XXS So, um, the sizing is really weird So, masa aku beli pun aku tak sure aku nak beli size apa um, Because I'm used to badan aku besar Aku biasanya akan beli size paling besar You know, no matter what it is I'll just buy a triple XL or a double XL But this time I went and bought an L for everything Seluar L, t-shirt L Just because I don't know I don't know what's my sizing So, hopefully it's Hopefully I got the right size Dia agak pelik ya So, ini adalah t-shirt size L Jom kita tengok uh, Adakah aku membuat pilihan yang salah Oh, Masya Allah, besar tak? Oh my goodness Okay, t-shirt size L dia T-shirt size L dia besar guys Ini bukan t ini bukan size L, ni selimut but. Oh man So you get the flower at the back uh, Embroidered Nike over there Piece minus one on the sleeve Over here, is it focusing? Yeah, I guess that's it I'm just gonna try it on Just for reference, untuk korang semua punya reference Aku Pakai t-shirt aku pit 25 most of the time So I will test out to see this piece minus one punya L macam mana pula Bam So this is how an L fits um, I would say it's quite quite accurate I guess Dia memang baggy tapi it's not too big So uh, if you're a pit 25 like me um, An L would be that perfect look lah You know it's got that nice baggy Nice baggy look that you're supposed to get uh, an M would be Memang M akan muat juga Tapi the M you wouldn't get this nice baggy fit lah So So far I guess aku telah memilih size yang betul But I'll just wear this for the rest of the video I guess Also for reference um, I have over here a size S Yang telah dibeli oleh uh, A good friend of mine Amanda I have her size S over here uh, She shipped it over to my house Just because she's out there travelling right now But out of curiosity, I'm pretty sure dia takkan kisah yang aku membuka package dia Because I want to see how big a size I want to see how big a size S is Kalau perempuan pakai macam mana tu? Boom, ni size S Weh, aku rasa <laughs> Aku rasa aku pun masih boleh muat size S tu 
uh, tapi beza dia dia pendek lah it's very very boxy it's very boxy so I think if I wear this it would be a bit like a crop top a bit of a dia pendek lah so that's it with the t-shirt I guess okay Moving on, what's next? So the whole collection that was available at Atmos KL was the two t-shirts, the jacket, the pants and the shoe. Uh, aku tahu sizing baju warna putih tu actually lain daripada sizing baju warna hitam. Uh, I forgot which one is bigger. I think warna hitam is bigger than the putih. The the sizing, the actual sizing, I'll put it over here. This is the actual size chart. Hopefully korang boleh pilih based on that. Next item is... I think this is the jacket. I also want to tell you guys that the jacket was uh, is the jacket was bloody expensive. Aku rasa jacket dia adalah benda paling mahal aku beli tahun ni tu. So the jacket punya retail was like 1395 ringgit kalau tak silap aku. The jacket which also macam dia ada it comes in all these pieces. Uh, like, give me a moment to try to figure out how all this works. The main jacket itself is this padded thing. It's padded inside with piece minus one written on the back dia uh, menyerupai baju taekwondo ya yeah? I'm not sure there's embroidered Nike over here I'm not sure how you're going to wear this in Malaysia mungkin panas lengan ni nampak agak pendek oh, I might have gotten the wrong size for this one but yeah dia, kau nampak dia macam taekwondo kan dia ada tali pinggang taekwondo kat sini and it also comes with this part here which is like a vest you wear it over pang pang you know it's got that detailing over there You're just basically supposed to wear this over dia macam baju taekwondo tapi tiba-tiba ada this Kanye-esque utility vest on top of it. So, I'm going to try this on. Hopefully, this fits me. Hmm. Alright. So, as for the jacket, maybe a uh, XL would have been better. Sebab dia muat. Tapi, dia sedikit same thing, ya. Yeah? It's not supposed to be perut aku besar. So, uh, this an L is a little bit same thing you don't get that you don't get that proper vibe but I didn't want to get an XL just because an XL just seemed a little bit too big you know so if I put on this part pula macam mana nak pakai ni tu I don't know how to wear this macam ni je ke oh ada velcro ah okay ah, tak boleh tutup aku gemuk okay maybe an XL would have been the proper size I think this was the wrong size for me okay now I know now I know Oh, the zip! Uh, okay. It doesn't work. I'm too fat for the jacket. So, if you're a big size like me, XL. Okay, so now I know. Uh, the thing about the jacket is that outer part, that is a little bit, what do you call that? That is a little bit more mencengkam. So, when you just want to wear the jacket, it's okay because it's uh, oversized. I think it's the inner padding. This inner padding makes it very thick as well. But this vest part, this part is a... Uh, I think you need an XL because I feel like this vest part here kind of follows normal Nike sizing. On to the next item. This about kind of jacket, aku semakin hilang keyakinan. I don't think I can fit the pants as well. Yeah, I might have miscalculated. Maybe only the t-shirt is like super super oversized. But here's the pants. Baru baru ni aku beli banyak seluar tu. A lot of my friends have been releasing seluar kiri kanan. Thieves lah mengeluarkan seluar baru. Again slap telah mengeluarkan seluar baru which is what I'm wearing now I'm wearing the new again slap shorts this piece minus one pants comes with this pouch thing that you can that has the belt loop so kau boleh letak uh, tali pinggang juga Nike here piece minus one here buka jadi pouch that's why this collection is expensive here guys because it has all these functions and this is the pants itself nice uh, flower detailing over here there's a Nike Embroidered Nike here. It's a it's a cargo pants, kind of gold core ish. Okay, so seluar dia, I don't know how to show it. Yeah, seluar dia muat. Feels very comfortable. Aku actually pakai dua lapis sekarang. I still have my shorts underneath this. The pants memang mengikut the sizing on the size chart. I'm like head to toe in piece minus one now. I'm gonna open this jacket sebab panas ni. Ya Allah. Aku rasa G Dragon tidak memikirkan cuaca Malaysia when he was making this collection. Okay, and uh. Last but not least, this right here is the very last piece. Dan juga aku rasa benda paling could, could be said agak disappointing. Aku belum pegang pun aku cakap disappointing disebabkan kenaikan harga dia. So this over here is the sneaker itself. The Pondo ones. I have them in a size 13. Just because kasut ni dia sangat ketat, um, I would recommend you to go one size up when you are buying them. Kenapa aku cakap kasut ni disappointing? Well, harga dia jauh naik since the last one. The last release, the last release, the all white one. The retail for that was like RM519, I think, 500 something lah. 
Ini harga dia dah naik jadi 800 lebih Which is uh, very upsetting But here is the shoe itself Bang Here we go Take out both sides Bang Inilah dia The Kwondo ones I think this colour um, A lot of people call it the panda colourway I don't want to call it the panda colourway Just because aku rasa nama panda tu dah overused I shall call it the black and white colourway This black and white colourway is a lot, I think a lot nicer than the all white colourway. The FNF version of course has the white midsole, but then here we have the general release version which is with the black midsole. The left side has piece minus one on the tongue thing with piece minus one on the insole. The right side has Nike on over here and Nike on the insole. The leather is very soft. I think this is, aku rasa ni kasut ni sesuai untuk raya. As I film this, this is on Friday night, one day before Raya so I could wear this for my Raya outfit you have an extra lace over here which is all black but with yellow aglets instead of black the ones that come on the shoe is black um, besides that, really nothing much to say because it's very similar to the all white Kwondo ones flower embroidery on the back very heavy shoe if you want to know more about uh, the Kwondo ones you can check out my review over here other than that, yeah, it's pretty similar. It's pretty similar to the Kondo ones. The outsole is a lot more clear. Yang bunga ni nampak lagi uh, menonjol disebabkan warna ni warna hitam. The leather is the exact, I think this feels like the exact same leather as the Kondo leather. The black leather is soft. It's very plush, it's very lush. This also leather ni pun dia, agak, dia, dia sangat gebu. Weirdly enough, I don't think this shoe will match the whole collection because I feel like this whole collection we're doing all tech wear ninja, right? Dia nampak gold coil sikit Aku rasa kasut ni macam Macam tak kena Macam tak kena pula With this whole collection uh, Other than that That was it That was the whole collection That I got The white t-shirt Sizing lain But then I didn't get the white t-shirt Just because I didn't want to buy Everything in the whole collection This whole collection The jacket Plus the t-shirt Plus the shoes Plus the pants uh, It cost me Just under 3,000 ringgit I think which is a lot of money it's a lot of money uh, I w that's why I said uh, this video was not sponsored by Atmos I wish it was sponsored by Atmos but you know what thank you to Atmos for giving me this opportunity anyway but they want to buy something to buy Malaysia if not, I'm going to buy they resell I think even Nike didn't really release this online that's it that's the video like the video if you like the video subscribe if you want to see more videos and I shall catch you in the next video baby